Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn re-indexing, how to change the order of rows or columns uh, in our data frames. Sometimes that's necessary, that's necessary, so it's very useful to be uh, familiar with how to do that. And it's very simple, as usual, with this powerful you know, the, uh, pandas uh, stuff that we have. Let's create our usual um, data frame, import pandas and create the data frames that we've been using for a while. Now notice we have um, labels or um, names or titles for the rows and for the columns, for the rows A, B, C, D, and so on and so forth, and for the columns city, rank, score one and score two. And let's say we'd like to change uh, the order of the rows, so play about with the index. Okay, what we can do here is we can uh, call the reindex function in our data frame and then give it a new order of the rows. This is what the data frame looks like. And if we just change the order of the rows, here we're using the letters because we've given them we've given them these these um, uh, labels. If they were the normal 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, that's fine. You can change the order 0, 2, 3, 2, 1, and so on and so forth, and it'll work nicely. So if I apply that, you will notice that the order of the rows uh, is going to change, okay? And if I do like, for example, B and then B, Sydney will be repeated and this Tripoli will disappear. As you can see, Tripoli disappears, right? So it's quite nice and powerful, but at the same time, it can be dangerous if we get it wrong. That's how we change the, 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 the or, that's how we re-index or change the index in terms of the rows. To do that for the columns, it's exactly the same thing. We just need to be more specific now and, you know, okay, prepare the column names as uh, a list and notice here I've changed the order, rank score 2, city score 1, before they were city rank score 1 and score 2 and now when I re-index I just need to tell it columns equal this new list of column names and it'll change the order of the column names. Notice that it doesn't do it in place but rather it creates a new data frame so if I say new data frame equals this then new data frame will have you know the data frame with a new order of thing of, of, of columns okay I can do the same thing here new data frame equals that so we'll change the order of the rows change the order of the columns and then there you go that's quite easy to do um, another uh, thing that we can do is what if we'd like to rename one of the columns so this column is called rank what if we'd like to maybe, for example, have a capital R install instead of a small R, or maybe change it instead of rank, use like maybe grade or level or something like that. That's what we're going to that's what we're going to learn in the next video. 